Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Red Cloud. Today we're going to be showing you guys the best Battlefield 6 settings that you can get to increase your FPS, minimize lag, create pretty much the best opportunity for you to beat that other opponent, and in general to help out anybody who has lower performing computers so you guys can fix that lag that's getting you killed. Alright guys, so I'm going to give you guys the best absolute FPS option first. Okay, so this you are going to require pretty much a pretty decent computer built in the last like maybe like probably five years. However, I will be showing the best option for if you guys have like a PC that's struggling a bit. Uh, maybe it's a bit older, like, you know, like a Ryzen 2600 or maybe like, you know, a 3060 or something like that. I don't know. I'll show you guys exactly what you're going to need to fix that computer as well so it runs as smoothly as possible so first things first we are here in the settings this is pretty much the default settings that is going to occur uh besides the field of view thing the performance preset we want to set this to custom because it will change everything and we don't want that all right so we want to go to graphics quality uh put this on custom all right and then we're going to go to graphics okay so Everything here is going to be, this is the default settings most of the time, depending on your computer. For here, we're going to go and set everything besides texture filtering and texture quality to low. All right, so texture quality, texture filtering, we're gonna set this to high. Uh, you could set this to ultra, but uh, you don't need to. Uh, mesh quality, low, uh, terrain quality, low. Everything, everything below those two, we're gonna set to low or just pretty much in general as low as they go so just click them once to the right and it'll set everything to low all right so these two on high or if you are like a lower end computer you can set these to medium all right but we'll get to that later on so other than that you are going to need to restart the game in order to get those options in however we still have more to do before you do that so advance we're going to go to advanced here we're going to make sure that our fixed resolution scale is set to 100. Okay. Now, there are a few things here that I have to go over. All right. So frame rate limit. So if your computer is overheating or let's say your fan on your graphics card is being super, super loud. All right. Me personally, I don't like hearing a lot of things um, when I'm uh, playing, when I'm streaming. And I personally uh, hate my graphics card and all that stuff to be overused when they need to be however if you have a super beast ass computer uh, don't bother using the frame rate limiter all right if you feel like your computer is performing poorly after a certain point put a frame rate limit on because what this will do it will save your graphics card some power okay it will also save your cpu some power okay because when you have uncapped frame rate your cpu is pushed a lot harder okay so if your computer is stuttering, you want to have a frame rate limit on. So mine does not stutter or anything like that, but I, like I said, I just like mine performing at a stable FPS. If you are stuttering tremendously, all right, try 100 FPS, okay? If you're stuttering even then, try 80 and then try 60, right? Because then you are going to limit the amount of usage that you can actually get out of your graphics card and therefore you will save your resources on your computer. Okay, so it'll be a much more stable experience. The other thing, you wanna set your frame rate limit to one or two FPS above the cap that you wanted at, or your monitor's refresh rate, sorry. Because uh, your monitor, even though it will be capped at 144 FPS, it will actually cap it down to like 140 or 142, depending on latency and a few things. However, mine is at 145 because it only limits it by one FPS. So I want 144 and you know, you can experiment with this, but besides that, uh, you can check that by going into the performance overlay and it'll be up there where my subs on Twitch are. And it'll tell you under CPU, it'll be like 144 FPS. So don't have the performance overlay on though. It's not important. Besides that though, great job on limiting that FPS. Now, with this, if you have an NVIDIA card, make sure you enable plus boost. Enable plus boost actually does also decrease the latency in your PC. So when you are gaming, it does decrease the latency, which is fantastic. Now for anti-aliasing, you could have it off. Um, I personally have it on TAA, but for the best actual settings, you want this on off. 
upscaling technique off nvidia frame generation all this stuff off okay these right here are the best settings uh, for this category now everything else are camera settings okay these are the last settings that we're going to touch my field of view i like mine i had 120 um, field of view you can change this to whatever you want there is a correlation between having a higher field of view and also uh, usage on your computer as well so if you are really struggling uh, your field of view the lower it is the less on your screen you will see which means that you will also use less of your computer at a time however a bigger field of view also means that you are using more of your computer at the, at the time so determine this however you would like i like mine at 120 it's a wider view so i can see my enemies and you know win that fight weapon field of view i set mine to wide there's no real difference there world motion blur off weapon motion blur off camera shake amount off everything else off and then that's all you need to do with camera settings okay now this is going to be something that is going to help out quite a lot of people if you are struggling with your performance um, by like any type of jitters lags or anything like that full screen mode you may want to turn this on okay the reason why is because some games perform better on full screen mode all right some games do perform better on that some monitors perform better on it some uh, computers just perform better on it so experiment with this one hopefully it does help you quite a bit if you decide to do this though make sure that your aspect ratio you keep it on auto and your refresh rate you keep it on your highest refresh rate that your monitor can go to okay so make sure you do that and then uh, you're all set with that the other thing that some people may benefit from it depends um, like I was saying earlier, if your computer is stuttering like a tremendous amount, let's say like, you know, you're getting high FPS, but you're just like, like jittering, like every like second or two, try vertical sync. It may help keep your monitor and your game, uh, synced up. Okay. So if you are getting those high refresh rates, however, like if you are struggling, like to get any good performance, like, let's say like you're at like 50 frames and you have a, a nice 144 hertz monitor do not put vertical sync on okay just cap your fps vertical sync is going to be bad for you if you are getting low fps and have a nice monitor okay so make sure you turn vertical sync off all right guys and the last setting that i'm gonna suggest are the audio settings i don't know if any videos have talked about this however sound system make sure you're wearing some headphones when you're playing this it's gonna be the best way to play the game audio mix I found that war tapes and or war tapes VAL are essentially the best for me. I don't know if it's just my headphones or what, but uh, high dynamics is also pretty good. But I found that I could hear footsteps a lot better with war tapes. All right. So if you want to try war tapes out, go for it. If high dynamics is what works for you, fantastic. If default mix is what works for you, fantastic. All right. Other than that, you don't have to worry too much about audio, but find out what works best for you. And I would definitely suggest uh, checking that out. All right, guys, part two of the video real quick. If you guys have like a potato computer, like I'm sorry, it's it's struggling super hard. Listen, everybody, everybody goes through that phase in life. OK, it happens. All right. It's going to be all right. So what you want to do, all right, is you want to actually go ahead and uh, turn on upscaling technique. All right. So upscaling technique um, and you want to actually go on to FSR. All right, FSR is pretty much allowing your computer to pretty much like use its resource to like mimic getting like a higher quality when it's not. And you want to set this to ultra performance. OK, and then if, if you're not struggling after this, try this out. OK, if you're not struggling after this, what you can do is pretty much just leave it that way. If you are struggling after this, you can also turn down your fixed resolution scale to like 90 or 95 whatever the reason why is because it's upscaling all right and you don't need to actually like run your your game at a higher resolution because it's upscaling the resolution right so you you can turn this down and it will actually look a little bit better but the one thing i would do if you are changing this is i would go ahead and add a little bit of sharpness Okay, like let's say to like 53, 55, something like that. 
because even though it's upscaling, you are turning your resolution down, right? So make sure you uh, go ahead and, and do that as well. So that would help quite a bit. The last thing that I'm going to suggest if you are really, really, really genuinely struggling is to turn on dynamic resolution scale and minimum resolution scale. Like I said, this is going to change our resolution up here. You can set this to 80 or lower, but I wouldn't go lower than 80 to be honest with you. Frame rate target, set this to 60 or whatever FPS you want, and then go ahead and turn up the sharpness to kind of counterbalance the uh, descaling that it can do. What this will do, it will essentially go ahead and like change the quality of the game in order for you to get that ideal frame rate. Okay. And a few other things that may help in case you, you know, are struggling still could be potentially, you know, the ability to change the resolution of your monitor display and all that stuff. But that would be more of a niche thing and we're not really going to get into that. However, if you do change your game quality to like 1080 from 1080p to 720p or even 900p, you may see some performance there as well. So besides that, guys, other than that, those are all the settings that I've got for you. Hopefully they answered all your questions. I definitely feel like we definitely went in depth and explained a lot of the reasoning behind why the settings are fantastic. I think that uh, this video should help out quite a lot of people. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Come by my stream. I'm also live every day on Twitch. I'll answer any of the questions that you have and come check out the live stream. Like I said, we're playing a lot of Battlefield 6. If you guys want to play with me, I'm down. And uh, other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.